Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today we're going to go over organizing the UV maps and putting it into zero to one space. So, so far what we've done is actually um, UV mapped every part of her body. We're going to actually be taking the information that we did on the right side and translate it to the left. So let's get started. All right, so I've actually UV mapped the right side. So what I'd like to do is actually go ahead and delete the left side of the character and uh, and then I'm going to mirror it to the other side. The key of deleting faces on the left side is to make sure that you've actually deleted everything that you need to delete and also make sure that you didn't uh, delete faces that you weren't supposed to. So for example, I've accidentally deleted a face on her thigh and then I go ahead and fill in the hole. So just double check to make sure that there's no flying faces such as in the mouth uh, and around the crotch area because you want to make sure you catch everything. I also like to take a look and make sure my UV editor and make sure that everything has been UV mapped. Sometimes things slip through the cracks. So right here I found one particular polygon and then go ahead and sew it together. Uh, if I ever make any changes in the UV map, I'd like to unfold and uh, just kind of make a couple of changes to make sure that everything runs smoothly. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and mirror the geometry and uh, I like to look at the inputs and make sure that the merge vertices are actually a lot smaller. The last thing I need is for the vertices to actually merge together in a, in a way that shouldn't, it's not going to look right. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cre keep decreasing the value until uh, the vertices actually attach to each other and not the ones around it. If I see anything that's actually not sealing the vertices closing, I'll go ahead and bring them together and merge. All right, since the, the right side has been UV mapped and the geometry has been mirrored, that means that everything's set up and ready to go. The next part I'm going to do is actually do a UV layout. What it's, that's going to do is actually put all the, all the pieces in the zero to one space. Now, it doesn't do a very good job, and you'll see that the grid sizes are all over the place, but at least it separates all my pieces, and now I'm going to be able to go ahead and start sewing them together. The first is going to be the face. I'm going to go ahead and select the inner edges of the center of the face. Make sure you grab everything. Then I'm going to move and sew. And there you go. The face is basically done. For the ear, you just go ahead. There's a little bit of overlapping, but most people do not see the back of the ear. So I'm not too concerned about that. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that overlap where it is. I also see a floating face. I'm going to grab that one vertex or one UV and cut it, and then I'm going to attach it the edge, grab an edge, and also attach it to the ear. So don't forget to do it to the other side. I wish I'd caught that earlier. So that means that when I mirrored it, it wouldn't have had that problem. But this is a quick solution, so it's not that big of a problem. All right, here comes the torso. But the same thing as I did with the face. I'm going to select the center edges and combine or merge the, move and sew the edges together. I'm going to do the same thing to the front of the torso. If you see any overlapping, just go ahead and tweak them. And of course, if I ever tweak anything, I'd like to go ahead and unfold just a little bit. You can see that the, it's getting disoriented, the numbers on the grid. So I always like to unfold to make sure that the numbers and the grid looks good. They look like actual squares. All right, now I'm actually sewing, moving and sewing the edges at the bottom. Sometimes the ones that are really close need a little TLC, a little attention to make sure that they align correctly. There you go. Now, if I ever wanted to attach my arm to the torsos, which you can, um, I actually want to make sure the seam follows the length of the waist all the way up the torso down the arm and to the hand. This is going to be really important when I'm actually trying to uh, attach the hand. Now, you could leave the hands and wrists separated, but I actually prefer when I texture to have as many pieces together as possible. I'm literally trying to avoid as many edges. So I select the edges that go down the arm and then I cut them, and then I move the UV, and then I'm going to move and sew. 
and of course a little bit of unfolding to make it all better. All right, now I'm aligning the hand to the arm so that I can actually see where they're going to be connected. I'm trying to find where the seam is of the hand versus the seam of the, um, the arm so I can attach it. So I found the dividing line, I cut it, and now I'm going to sew the thumbs together. All right, so I grab the edges of the wrist and the arm, and then I go ahead and move and sew. So now they're attached, and again, I'd like to go ahead and unfold. All right, so the arm, the left arm is done. Now I'm thinking twice about it. I probably should have done this earlier, but that's okay. This is a really great way of showing you guys how to quickly UV map and uh, attach seams together. Now the next question is, do you want to keep the arms together? Do you want to put it, do you want to attach the legs together? Do you want to attach the torsos together? Those are the type of questions you want to ask. I like to actually sew the torsos together so that I have as, as little seams as possible when it comes to uh, texturing. But you can see when I moved in, so it's a little crooked. So I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, straighten out the back so it's going to be easier to texture. As you can see, it kind of stretches out the UVs a little bit, so I unfold the center place so it actually looks a little bit more uh, like a square. So I'm unfolding as I move along and uh, just making sure that everything is fitting well. I have a little problem right there at the shoulder, so I'm just going to do a little tweaking so that uh, I get as little distortion as possible, but I also don't want any overlap. So again, I'm, uh, you don't want to have you don't want to have accidental overlap. Sometimes there is really good overlapping, and other times you just don't want overlap in certain areas, and I think the shoulder's not one of them. All right, here's the neck. I moved and sewed it, and then I'm going to grab it, rotate it, and I'm going to bring it to the bottom of the head. Again, I'm just trying to prevent seams, so what I'm doing is just grabbing the edges and move and sew it. I'm also doing my best to make sure that I can scale this, the grid to the same size as the head and the neck so they match. So when they combine together, it's gonna look, it's gonna fit perfectly. And again, I like to unfold with just a little bit. All right, so the head's together, the arm and hands are together. And now we're going to have to do it to the other side. So what we did to the left side of the character, we're now going to do to the right side of the character. So this is going to look very familiar. I've divided the hand in half, and now I'm going to go ahead and move and sew the thumbs together. And I'm sorry I got cut off the screen there. So right now, off screen, I'm just doing the same thing that I did before, which is unfold, relax, and unfold until I have a nice grid for my arm. Nice UV grid. All right, I went ahead and did layout and see how everything looks. So the key to uh, putting everything in a zero to one space is that I want to make sure that everything fits and they all have similar grid size. Uh, the grid size is basically how much texture information you're going to have in your uh, texture. 
So if your face needs a lot more detail, which it usually does, uh, you want to make that face as big as possible. Um, by the way, what I'm doing here is actually overlapping the UV so that I get as much zero to one space as possible. So I'm, ex I'm assuming that the left side of the arm and the right side are going to have the exact same type of texture. So that's why I'm overlapping them. Same thing with the legs. The legs are probably going to share uh, the same type of information. However, if you wanted to have unique texture, so for example, let's say she's going to get dirty, she's going to get bloody. I don't want the same blood splatters to be on the left side as the right side. So you want, want to keep them separate. So it really depends what your character is going to be doing. So for example, I want my character to get messy. So I need to have a separate UV shell per leg so that I can give her unique textures. I also changed my mind about the arms, that if I'm going to do the same thing with the legs, I'm going to do the same thing with the arms. So right now what I'm doing is just moving things, the pieces around, kind of like Tetris, just trying to fit the right pieces in the, in the right space so that you can actually uh, get as much information as possible without any overlap. As you can see, it takes a little tweaking. All right, there you go. Checking to make sure the ears are in the right place. Just definitely some zero to one space that can be a little bit can take a little bit more so it's all about just trying to figure out a way to fit everything in as much as possible all the information as much as possible Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, that's how you UV map and uh, unwrap the female torso. So hopefully uh, you got something out of it. You can see that it just takes a little bit of relaxation, takes a little bit of concentration. It's pretty, it can be a little tedious UV mapping, but it's actually kind of relaxing because it's just uh, kind of automatic. Um, I actually really enjoy UV mapping. All right, don't forget to delete your history and freeze your transformations. And now she is UV mapped and ready to be textured. All right. Thanks guys, let me know if that was helpful. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel, comment below, and I would love to hear your thoughts. And I will see you next time.